Hi, and welcome back to Bart's Tale 4. I found them. They are. Friends, Escarbre. You're back. Thanks to you, I'm recovered. The sickness is gone. Thank you for finding the Black Mirror and smashing it. It was a brave and noble thing to do. I knew instantly when the deed was done, for the sickness left me as if it had never been. You have saved my wife's life. I am ever in your debt. Thank you, friends. Pay up. We will never forget you. For all that. 600. 600. For all that. Words took all I had. Please help me. No. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to the elves. So I'll get back to you once I am all the way at the teleport, so be right back. I want you to know, Elf, that I am happily married and strong in my faith. My congratulations, Paladin. I am sure you are a paragon of piety and marital fealty. It... it was a warning. I know what it was, Paladin. And I assure you, you have nothing to fear. We're back. We can... before that. We can go to the realm of elves. Now, elf, it ends. You shall not triumph. I have seen your end. There. Now let me through! And leave these meddling fools alive? No. If you cannot defeat a measly band of adventurers, you do not deserve the destiny we have been striving for. Curse you, Yannis! This is twice you've abandoned me! Ah, the adventurers. Again, you could not kill me before. Not even with the mage helping you. Do you think you can hurt me without him? Come and try me! Comes. What's coming? Ha! Let them approach! The light of your own so virtuous souls will keep yeah. my bones warm until I am Stand made whole again. Friend, walk yes. away and you Let won't get say. up. Both of you get over here. Tell me. Let's prepare. Mind me. Speak. When Yadis the Deliverer returns the farm hare to this world, they shall give flesh to the tattered wraith you see before you. I shall be a man again. An immortal man, who shall rule an eternal empire that will span the seven realms. Yes! For the farm hare! Sure. On your way. Yes. Ah. 
We were fools before, my brothers and I. We worked alone, and thus we died alone. This time, we are united, and thus we will not fail. Ready. Ready. Yep. I'm gonna beat you like an anvil. Speak. Enough talk. Attack if you dare. On your word. Yeah? Tell me what you need. Whatever. Bottoms up. On your board. Command me. Forgive me. Turn from evil or die. Here. Orders? Ready. The world shall be remade, with weaklings such as yourselves trudging through lives of endless servitude. An infinite army of slaves, living and dying at our whim. It will be glorious! Tell me what you need. I... On your word. Forgive me. Ta-da! Command me. On your word. Speak. Behind you. Yeah. I need a drink. Bye. What? 
Excuse me for being excuse me for being so quiet but I had to focus completely on the fight. What a terrible day. And kill me. Sialmar, our greatest sage, is dead. And that has crippled us in ways from which we will never recover. Still, you have awakened us to a menace we thought dead 5,000 years ago. And for that, and for killing the fiend Mangar, we are in your debt. <sighs> Until we stamp out the exiled court renegades who covet our throne, however, we cannot turn to outside threats. I can at least tell you more of the threat you face. Why did Mangar take Siamhar's head? Of all the elves, only Sialmar knew the location of the Maiden's Barrow, for it was he who created the spells that protected it. I fear these madmen have some way to steal his memories from his severed head. If so, they know both where the battle is and how to defeat Sialmar's defenses. That may mean our doom. Do you know a sorcerer named Yadis? That is a name of the charm, but I do not know what fool has taken it now for their own. We met Tan Baron's ghost. He wished to beg your forgiveness. Mangar entered Coil because he tortured the Song of Passage out of him. Having seen Mangar's cruelty, I do not blame Tambarin for breaking. He was a good and gentle elf. I wish him peace. You know what Mangar was after? I fear I do. Thousands of years ago, the fam here twin gods from beyond our plains, entered the human realm through a rift in the fabric of the world and, seeking worshippers, raised humankind from apes. Had we elves and dwarves intervened then, tragedy might have been averted. Sadly, we paid no attention. Not until the fam here and their human armies stormed our realms did we realize the danger, and then it was nearly too late. You fought the fam here. We called it the All War. Every god of the elves and dwarves died to drive the demons back through the rift and seal it up. And still it was not enough. From the far side, the fam here clawed at it ceaselessly. A guardian was needed, someone to continuously knit up the rift from our side. So as punishment for human hubris. We chose the maiden daughter of an earthly emperor who had followed the fam here. Locked in a hidden barrel, she would keep them out by singing a song of mending forever. Where is this barrel? I know not. Its location was hidden from all but the wisest, and humanity was made to forget its existence entirely. We feared that if they knew of it, and of the power of the fam here, the worst of them would be tempted to seek out the maiden and kill her. Alas, the secret, it seems, is out. So you're saying you, as the queen, are not one among the wisest of your kind. Okay. We should let Rabbi know about this. Thank you again for all you have done for my people. You sent me to face eternal death against the elves, the most powerful practitioners of the old races? Why not Xanta? Why is he favored with the easy work of finding the blood of Althrod? Did I not win from Alguin the book that told you where to seek it? You play favorites, Yadis. You think me expendable.
the direction was broken for some reason. What's that? It's a crying Soki. Oh, for this one. Contaminator. Oh my goodness. Is one hand. Okay. And with that, I think we're gonna end this part. So, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.